It's September 16. You're watching the single malt review of me, Dave, and him, Tim. Mm -hmm. As we look at today's mystery dram, the tankard of obfuscation lists, lifts, rather. The only thing oh. listing here is us. Yes. And we we've have... got number 16. And if you've been keeping up, then you know we are in an unprecedented third day yes. of the streak, TM. We've never been here before, and it's giving me the conniptions, mm. because the hopes are now colossally high... And the crash down is going mm. to be nigh unsurvivable. <laughs> and you know it's coming, and I know mm. it's coming, and we're just going to have to get there together and make the most of it. Mm. Have we made it too easy, Dave? That was, I had a thought. Well, why do people do people <laughs> enjoy these because we get them all wrong and it's mm. funny? And have we made it? Have we made the content worse by getting more of them right? That's the real question. It's like, oh, they're getting it well, right. We're and getting now it they're right because right we can hedge our bets. Yeah. It's not we're not competing against each other, but instead against the calendar. And we have these very, very Indeed. deftly drafted yeah, the, clues. The clues, the clues are, yeah. and as as suspected, they, the clues are becoming more powerful. But they as include we narrow the, the reddest of hearings. There are things which have utterly thrown us. Too by by just honing our preconceptions. Indeed. Well, hey, yeah. let us know in the comments. Is it more fun to watch us get them wrong or get them right? <laughs> I don't know. We'll try or is variety the spice? It's more fun for us to whiskey. get them right. We get to feel good about ourselves <laughs> as sort of whiskey pundits. Hey, validation. Rather than just sort of crawl out of here and say, "Oh, what did we do?" <laughs> All right. Mm. I think we're on Pete Street. Interesting. Yeah, that's all. Number one, Pete Street. <sighs> mm. Subdued though, it's not uh, blowing my brain. It's not out, mega. No, no, yeah. it's not mega. Um. Oh, wait, no, there's more here. than I thought. Hmm. Oh, that's tingling. There so is a tingle. I think this is... Icy coolness. This is, um, percentage-wise, this is 46 plus. Hmm. It's got a... There's a... There's a... There's a... Hmm. A slightly asleep quality to this, which makes hmm. me think, once we put water in here, it's really going to get started. Right. And so possibly once we, once we, um, once we, I almost said once we tongue this whiskey, yeah. once we taste <laughs> this whiskey rather than nose it, um, which you, you see how I end up there, um, I think it's going to taste stronger than we yep. think. There is a viscous, oily cling to it. There that is. is. It's painting the glass. It's dark, too. It's yeah. really dark. But... Um, Given that we are on Pete Street, this narrows it down pretty handily mm. to the Sky or the Blended Malt Isla. Mm. I think, I think I'm good there. Does anything Pete had come out of Glen Scotia or the Lowlands? I mean, Glen Scotia's got that. Does it have a teensy bit of heat now? But nothing <laughs> conspicuous. Nothing conspicuous. No. I think you know safe picks anyway. Anyway, anyway, speculation yeah. over. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh, oh, oh, okay. wow. oh, yep. oh, yeah, no, that's this. not. That's not forty-six percent. That's way higher. Papa Pete is hammering at the door. That's mm. way higher. Yeah, Father Pete's miss has well and truly yeah. come down the chimney on this one. Um, this is going to need water. No coal for us this year, naughty boys. Get Pete. Goodness me. Mm. All right, that, wow. that is much, much higher percentage than yeah. I was thinking. Oh. See, I said I said it was. there was something in there yep. waiting, crouched. Crouched in the darkness. Ooh, okay, that has opened it up, and this is a very sherry tinged mm. offering, which makes it... A bit of a weird one because mm. all of the common Isla blends, and I'm I'm tipping mm. my hat there because I'm I'm pretty sure. And on the Isla blend here, I do not think this is Talisker. It's yeah. too ruddy. It's too Talisker is too clean. Um, Talisker is Talisker is too stark in its flavour. There is a oh. grime to this one. Unless it's one of the special offerings with unique cast type or a finish. Mm. They don't happen often, I believe, but they do happen. The grime doesn't come from the cask. The grime, mm. the Isla stank, comes yeah, from the repeat. spirit. It's yeah. born with the stank. Mm. Um, it's it, it's come from stank. It's going to stank. Mm. It's stank. Born with stank. And if Isla anyone story. if anyone knows what I'm talking about, there, then then <laughs> hats off, Earthworm Jim fans out there. Uh, anyway, yes. um, mm. I like this. I like this for the um, Isla blend. It could also... Did we do that? Yep, the single cast is gone. I was going to say, mm. oh, crap. Um, but no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Save. Yeah. Now, that possibility is still... There is still the ever-present threat, the nuclear option of the, yeah. the mystery. It would <sighs> seem mean to put a peated one in yeah. <laughs> amidst so much other peated still, offering. Still, this calendar has been nothing if not challenging mm. and just... I can so deftly crafted just to really test us. I recognise the threat. Yeah, I'm not even going to think about it mm. because if I do, I Best will just lies, madness, poison or myself confusion. Yeah. and end up thinking way too hard about this. Where mm. I need to think concisely. So, 
where I am is the Peter Dilo. Yeah, that's... Where I'm not is exactly what's in it. Um, <laughs> yeah. Everything I look for isn't in here, which mm. means I think it's something way less common than I'm thinking. Yeah. The, um, the Elix of the world, the... Well, I was about to say Scarabus. Scarabus. Is there a Scarabus? Is, is that's Scarabus a good one. A blend? Scarabus is. Um, it's a quite rather nice one, actually, with the 10 year old is. Um, but then OHD went fine. I'm not, I'm not giving it the boot, but the 10 year old is a lot better <laughs> yeah. than it. Um, yeah. Is there even an outside chance this is a 10 year old 40%? No. Good. This is so much stronger. 12 year old 40%. Mm. Uh, but no. No, no. no. Um, yes, yeah, so I don't even look at this all month. I should, I way much. too strong. Mm. Way, 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 way too strong. Oh, a little more water, I think, just to. See what happens. It can take quite a bit. Yeah. It's not it's not clouding though. Mm. Which is making me a bit suspicious. Hmm. Could it be one of those classic PT blended malts? Is it it's Big Pete and all Isla blend? Mm-hmm. Good. I mean is they're all are. There's oodles of them. The yeah. Elec, Big Pete, the list goes on. Mm. Um, some people have posted quite exhaustive lists. Yeah. Um, but there there is so many to choose mm. from. I don't think it's Big Pete. It doesn't seem like bigly Petey enough. But it's been a few years, but Oh, Lagavulin, Lagavulin, mm. I'm getting on this okay. one in a way, in a way that would make me a little bit like mm, if this was a if the single cask was still mm. on the table. One because of the so sherry still potentially is thanks to. Oh yeah, no no no! Mark. Stop pointing out, dude. Um, <laughs> there's nothing we can do about it. No, um, we just have to let it happen. Um, no no, not thinking about that. Um, mm. Was the was the Isla single cask still on the table? I would be a bit suspicious mm. um, for Lagavulin because this has two hallmarks. Um, there's a distinct sherry influence here, mm. which doesn't crop up on any of the yeah. Isla blends that I know of, and really, oh, it's quite sweet. It's quite a sweet, rich whiskey. Isla blends with a hearty Bunnahabhain component. No, none because of a lack of none that I know of. Like yeah. I say, because I'm a, a, a whiskey cheapo. Well, mm. I, I don't want to be, but um, <laughs> financial realities have yeah. rendered me a whiskey Needs cheapo for the time being. Ever, ever scar- um, whiskey, yeah. I don't tend to get the really classy stuff, mm. so it's it is the the elix and of that ilk right. that I'm uh, Portiskeg is the one I'm mm. thinking of, um, and I think it does a cast strength as well. They are the ones that kind of guide me in this, and they don't have this sherry rich goodness. This mm. tastes like something nicer. Right. Um, you mentioned, I think it was in a couple of videos ago, but um, Elements of Isla yeah. does one, and I think they just call it peat. Yes. Um, not to be confused with Big Pete. This is mm-hmm. merely peat. I wonder if it's something like that, because that's a bit more different. It's quite it's been more years, years, and years pick, since I've tasted it. Pick very, very deftly selected <sighs> boutique. Do we have to pick the? Do we have to pick? We don't have to pick the actual we get product. Bonus pretend points bonus if we do, points? I guess. Yeah, because okay. <laughs> I'm I am very confident on. Well, based on the clothes, I'm very confident on the Isla blend. Yeah, we get the extra warm fuzzies if we. The more right we are, the more we get to feel good about ourselves. Um, the greater online validation we get. And I can tell you a few things. It's not. Mm. It isn't Porter's gag. Hmm. It isn't Neil. It isn't Big Pete. It's mm-hmm. not Scarabus. And then my, based on what I've tried, yeah. and this is not based on me remembering them 100%, this is based on the fact that they didn't have this cherry character, mm. and this Lagavulini, Lagavulaginous Lug- character to them. Um, that sounded very medical. If someone had told me I was drinking Lagavulin 16, I would have just gone, yeah, yeah. sure. Good. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, nice. Um, nice. Tasty. Okay. Well, uh, then, that's all I got. way to hedge our bets. If you're confident that we're having the... I'm, blended I'm island pretty malt. good on the blended island. I'm going to be a Reverick, maverick renegade and pick, but this is a leg of Owen or something similar okay, from yeah, the mystery the, oh, selection. Man. Yeah, Brave. Yep. Brave. I was brave doing this with um, Glenfiddich 10, one of the most guessable whiskies yes. out there, but Glenfiddich. <laughs> what am I actually thinking? Morangy, sorry. Mm. The other Glen yeah. of, of approximately oh, 150. Okay. As Jack has said, there's a fine line between bravery and stupidity. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I glimpsed a lot of writing. Good lord. What could it mean? Mm. Oh, this has now seen better days. This is getting increasingly <laughs> ropey. We're going to need a different rubber band to hold that together in a minute. Okay. What are we looking at? It's a lot of writing. Oh, elements of Isla Sherry Cask. It all makes sense. Uh, it all makes sense now. Yes. Unchill filtered. Really? <laughs> We'll take the Fair word enough. for it. Yep. We'll take the word for it. Non-coloured Lafroy Colila. So I can, couldn't be Ooh, more wow. wrong on yep. the on the Lagavulin. Maybe that's how you make Lagavulin. Yeah. You you crossbreed um, Lafroy and Colila. Blended Isla malt, fifty four point five percent ABV. That is a 
potent dram does not taste it. My science failed me completely on that one. Ooh. I would have said 50% on the absolute yeah. wow. limit. It is impressive one. and very tasty. The absolute limit. Mm. First time for me trying this one. But yeah, good to know. But we did pick the hearty sherry influence. Yeah, well, and that, that was, that was unmistakable. Us, and it is a, yeah, a expressly sherry cask. So uh, I think no no fuzzies, no fuzzies points on mm. that one um, because that's a... That's something else. This yeah. is not the the peach. Yeah. This ain't. But we guessed a lot correctly based oh, yeah, on yeah, yeah. or for something no, we've never actually tried personally. The whiskey science was real. You yeah. know what? I think we guessed enough that the streak continues. Yes, it's make it's it's not as glorious a streak, mm. but I'm going to take it. Yeah, we're going to we're going to we're going to walk this. We're going to roll the streak to yes. day number four. This is all new territory for us. Being being, um, well, I'm not going to say I was 100 percent right, but being being this sure about what we're tasting this is this is so new this is flabbergasting we have made it too easy the clues are too good oh, they've gotten they've gotten too specific as we've gone further down the hole this is terribly exciting i hope everyone else oh, yeah. is having a good time um if we're describing the whiskey properly mm. as the clues narrow down i'll bet some people are picking them before we have oh, yeah. um because <laughs> they'll be following the clues long if you've if you've got something if you got it too mm. let us know we'd love to know how just if we're actually imparting yeah. useful information when we taste these things. So I must stress, these are, in fact, small batch tastings, as it were. We're filming several of these at once mm. because we have busy lives outside yeah, we of can only really video, sadly. Do this weekend yeah. to weekend. Um, so that's, them's the, mm. them's the but breaks. Following on the day by day, you'll be in a better position to keep track and actually think about what we're saying as we gabble on incessantly from one video yeah, to yeah, the yeah. next. Speaking of gabbling on incessantly, I can see a 12 on the camera, so Good we Lord, should wrap this one up and move the hell along. We will along. see you tomorrow on tentatively the fifth day of the streak my word <laughs>